Hello everyone, my name is Vermilion. Firebase Z Easter Egg has been completely solved and I'm here today to show you how to do it with some extra tips for the map's boss. But before we get into this video, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who chimed in. Even though we had an unfortunate bug that happened during our run, it was still fun to do Easter Egg Hunt. And I wanted to say sorry for the clickbaity title on the stream. If I added one word, it would have been an okay title. But with what I wanted to say out of the way, let's jump in. First, you will need to turn on power. The map does already show you how to do this without needing much more info, but I will show you on screen how. The first location for power will be in the data center. Head straight from the central helipad area and take a right up the stairs. Hop down and turn on the generator. Once on, you will want to fill up the reactor with zombie souls while also defending. These are super easy and each reactor is the same. Your second generator will be in the mission control room. Take a left from the helipad and up the stairs. Third generator can be found right after the motor pool. Open this door and walk through the rooms to find it. Like I said, each one is the same. Defend and kill zombies to fill the reactors. After filling all three reactors, head back to spawn through the teleporter and talk to Ravanov. He will talk about a few things relating to the story and towards the end of his speech, Peck will inform you to meet him in mission control. Head on back and talk to him. He will tell you that he threw Samantha in into an ether portal, shut it off, and threw away the keys, and won't tell you how to turn it back on. Ravanov will ask you to come back to speak with him about another way to get him to talk. Once back in spawn, after interacting with him, he will give you a key card and provide information about making a serum to get Peck to tell us the truth. Using this key card, we will find the three items we need to create the serum. Walk through the first spawn door to find a locker on your right to obtain the first one. The second serum can be found in between the hallway and the lower planning office. The third and final serum can be found located in the colonel's office. With each serum in your inventory, head over to the field hospital to interact with the chemical mixer to obtain the agent delivery system. Hellhounds will spawn once it's near finished, so do be careful to take care of them. Once the delivery system has been obtained, run back over to the OPC. The place you need to install the agent delivery system is on the right side of the entrance to mission control. After you place it, run back downstairs to see a mini cutscene involving Peck and his dear Martha. He'll fool around and buy time until Weaver asks him to spill the beans. Peck will then explain that Sokolov, Zabin, and Brahms have the codes and Samantha's ID tag to get her out of the dark ether. However, they are all dead. He will also tell you to head over to the data center. Go to the upper floor and interact with the memory transference station to unlock it and obtain an essence trap. This is used to obtain memories of those that have already been changed into a zombie because of the effects of the dark ether. The essence traps work very similar to pokeballs. In order to get the information we need, we will have to capture mimics with the essence trap once their health is low. I would recommend shooting them in the legs to avoid crit damage and get them as low as you possibly can. Also, the mimics you need have seemingly random spawning locations. I found mine inside of the scientist quarters or upstairs and to the right near the bullfrog wall by motor pool and near the planning office. Now these mimics can spawn anywhere else on the map, I believe. I think it just every round you need to run around the map and then find one. As long as it doesn't actually spawn in from a window or another zombie spawner, then it's the correct one and you need to collect that mimic with the essence trap. Each time you capture the mimic, you will need to run back to the memory transference station to obtain the memories and information we need to open the OPC. Once all three have been inserted, a floppy disk will come out of the machine. Take the floppy disk over to the planning office and insert it into this computer. This will open the OPC and show the portal. This portal doesn't have enough energy however, so go talk to Peck and ask him how to power it. After a brief explanation from Peck about needing Ethereum crystals, we learn that soldiers have been smuggling them for trade. Radmoff then tells us the code to the safe to obtain the ether meter. You will need the ether meter as well as the shovel. This can be found in the scorched defense area inside the left shed near the window. With meter and shovel in hand, let's start digging. The blue crystal can be found in the open lot near this window. Once dug up, it will disappear and spawn in 12 that look identically alike. The way to solve which one is the real one is to find the crystal that does not have black smoke coming off of it. I'll throw up a picture of the good crystal and the bad crystal. I should also mention if you pick the wrong one, all of them turn into mimics for you to kill, and then you have to return back the next round to try again. The yellow crystal can be found in jungle defense in the trench second to the left. After you dig this crystal up, it will start a lockdown event. You will need to stay inside the bubble and defend from hellhounds, manglers, and normal zombies. This step can also grant you the uncharged cells for the Reika 84, as there are manglers. Once the lockdown is over, you can pick it up and move on to the last crystal. Head on over to the barracks, and just before the stairs leading over to the data center will be the third and final one. This crystal will teleport, and if you watch closely to the trail, you can see where it goes if you miss the step up. You will need the Ray K84 to obtain this as the secondary fire has a slowdown effect. If you do not know how to build it, it should pop up in the top right for you to click on, as I do have a video on it, or you can just get it from the trials or the box. You will need to shoot the crystal with the slowdown grenade and run to grab it. If you are too slow, it will teleport away. Now that you have all three, you must insert one into each reactor, one in data center, one in mission control, and one near jungle defense. After inserting all of these, head back to the portal to watch as it charges. From here on, Peck makes all of our options null, until after waiting a minute, Weaver comes on and tells us about using the satellite dish to transfer the necessary energy. Before you continue, this is the final step before it will transfer you to the boss, so pack a punch, perk up, and get armor before you proceed. Once you're ready, go to the planning offices and use this computer to find the server you need to connect to. The one you need will always have a question mark on it. Link it and watch the pretty lights go. The laser is now providing power to the portal and it 
will tell you to interact with it. Once you do, enjoy the first part of the ending cutscene. Now that we've escaped the military base with Samantha, now it's time for you to escape Orda, the map's final boss. Orda is fairly easy to kill, just don't get too close as he swings his arm down. Also, a little pro tip, especially for those speedrunners, shotguns will absolutely melt this boss if you use the strat. I would recommend Aether Shroud or Ring of Fire just to kill everything faster. The zombies will stop spawning after a while, so if you wanted to, you could kill the zombies first and then focus the boss after. He also has his fireball abilities in this fight, so do be careful as it does hurt a lot. Once you've beaten the boss, you've beaten the map. Congratulations on your new Dark Ops and enjoy the second part to the ending cutscene. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of my guide. If you appreciate this type of content, then leave a like or consider subscribing. I try my best to upload relevant videos as well as quality ones at that. I appreciate each and every one that watches these. As always, I hope everyone stays safe, and as for me, I'll be continuing the Call of Duty grind.